my successful CEO nighttime routine for game-changing results. Having a nighttime routine for success is essential for business owners. I walk you through my entire routine and why an evening routine is so important. Today, I'm sharing my nighttime routine for business success with you. As a CEO of my own company, my own personal routines are critical to keep my mind in the right place for continued success with my business. Every day I follow a strict morning routine, an evening routine, and also a workday routine to keep my business and my mindset growing to the next level. There is a lot of talk about morning routines out there and I totally agree that a morning routine is one of the most important daily routines that you can implement, but you don't hear much said about nighttime or evening routines for business success. And I firmly believe that a nighttime routine is also critical to your success as a business owner for various reasons. Your subconscious mind is responsible for your results in business. Basically, I am a big believer of whatever you believe you will achieve. Whatever you believe gets literally written into the neural pathways in the brain and this process takes place while you are sleeping. So deciding what you want to believe right before you go to bed is crucial for waking up and believing that you are the kind of person who has success and gets what you want in business. So for that reason, I dedicate just as much time to my nighttime routine as I do to my morning routine. And today I'm going to break down exactly what I do during my evening routine. Today you will discover how I create new belief systems in my subconscious mind just before I go to sleep how my evening routine helps me wake up excited to start the next day and geared up for success, and how my nighttime routine prepares me for the best night's sleep that I could possibly have. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less Manifest More movement. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy and I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So I am curious to know, do you have a nighttime routine for success? And if so, what kind of things do you do? Have you ever thought about having an evening routine that helps you get results in your business? I'd love to know what you think of my content, what you like best and what improvements you'd like to see in the future and let me know if you have any questions for me. So you can let me know by leaving a comment on my blog, YouTube channel or sending me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. And just to remind you that I create a blog post for all of my pieces of content, a video and also a podcast so you can consume it in whatever format you want and any links to different products or different other pieces of content or products that I mention in this content piece. You can find all of the active links within my blog post, which is the first link that you find within this and um, the show notes of this content piece. So let me now share my successful CEO nighttime routine for game changing results with you. So before I officially start my evening routine for business success, I get myself into a wind down mode. That means that I get ready for bed, clean my teeth, then I go into my bedroom and prepare the room to create a nice, relaxing, calming environment. I probably would do this routine in a lounge if my family weren't so active, but the bedroom is the generally the place where I can get a bit more peace and quiet if my family is, um, is up and about. So what I do is I put on my aromatherapy diffuser with some calming essential oils such as lavender or stress away. Then I turn on my salt lamp which casts a beautiful gentle orange light into the room. Then I put on my spiritual playlist on Spotify which is full of tracks that are peaceful, calming and spiritual and this always gets me in the mood for relaxing manifestation. Now my atmosphere is prepared, I start my successful CEO nighttime routine. So I dedicate one hour to my evening routine every night and I usually do this routine while I'm in bed. 
These activities that I'm about to share with you have been life-changing for me, so I would encourage you to give them a try yourself. However, I know that not everyone wants to dedicate one hour to their evening routine every day, so you can do any of these tasks in the morning instead if that suits you better. And I do the bulk of my journaling at night as I feel like my brain is a little bit more active as I've had the whole day's worth of stuff to process. So that just works for me. When I wake up in the morning, I feel like every day is a new slate. So I don't feel overly emotional or attached to anything. And therefore my journaling is more effective in the evening when I can reflect on the day that I've just had and easily remember it. So here's everything that I do each night for success. Number one, I start by recording my day. So the first thing I do is to write a plain old bog standard diary. And I use a page a day diary that I just write all of the things that have happened that day. And it can often be quite boring if you were to read it back. And I actually avoid putting much emotion into my diary because I often save the emotion for my journaling when I've got more space to write about my feelings. And the reason that I write a diary is that I like to record the details of my day for so many reasons. I love to look back and see when things manifested for me. I like to record the big events in my life, the health updates that I'm going through, and it just really helps me to decompress and get my day out onto the page so that I'm not replaying the day in my mind as I try and get to sleep, as what can happen is I tend to replay conversations that I've had during the day unless I've written them down for some reason. Number two, I do my daily stamp journal. In this stamp journal, I go through and I answer a series of nine questions every single day, and all nine questions are immensely powerful. I have tested and tweaked these journal prompts for a very long time and come up with a final list that helps me to overcome obstacles and manifest success on a daily basis. And I won't go into details about what I do in this journal as I have covered that in detail in another content piece. So go and check that out now. And that is called how I use my daily stamp journal for business elevation. Number three, random ramblings. Random ramblings is my version of free writing. The purpose of this type of journaling is to get your higher self or God's words to flow through you onto the page. So what you do is you just let whatever thoughts just flow from your head onto the page and you will get some really great insights and ideas by doing this and you'll uncover some really deep things about yourself or memories that you don't normally access in everyday life. Number four, journal prompts. Journaling prompts are questions that really get you thinking deeply about things that are important to you. Answering questions in your journal really helps you to uncover things to work through and get ideas flowing. In addition to the nine daily journal prompts that I go through in my daily stamp journal, I also search for a variety of different new journal prompts to answer every day. And I find that the same question worded differently can get you to reflect on things in a totally different way. So I always find this exercise very revealing. Number five, evening manifestation meditation. I end the day by listening to a guided meditation that I created while I'm in bed. This evening manifestation meditation is almost identical to my morning manifestation meditation, except that at the end, it doesn't ask you to open your eyes and instead it asks you to have a guide you to have a great night's sleep. And I love to listen to guided meditations that also include some manifestation within them because it helps me to manifest what I want. And I really like to listen to meditations that are less than about 10 minutes long because I find that this is a good length of time to keep my brain engaged in the meditation and any longer than that and I'm likely to fall asleep or disengage from the meditation completely. And the evening ma uh, manifestation meditation that I created is nine minutes long and it's such a powerful tool to help you manifest your desires very quickly and I just really love listening to it. I've got such beautiful music that just makes me feel so chilled out when I'm listening to it. Number six, reading. Next, I do a little bit of reading as this usually makes me feel very tired last thing at night and sends me right off to sleep. 
I make sure I'm reading something positive and I try not to read books about business strategy right before bed because my head starts buzzing with ideas. And I often read books about spirituality or manifestation before bed because I find it quite easy to read. And even the very technical books are very good at making me feel tired. A little while ago, I discovered that my Kindle was actually disrupting my sleep, even my Kindle Oasis, because it has a very nice orange glow. And that was the reason why I bought it, because I thought it was going to be good for my sleep. But I was still finding that my sleep was very disturbed and much more disturbed when I was reading my Kindle. So now what I do is I turn off the Kindle light completely and I read by the light of the orange salt lamp instead. Or if I want an even dimmer light, I have started using a blue light blocking amber reading light. So it's just a small light that clips onto the top of your books and it doesn't light up the whole room. So it doesn't disturb your partner, but it can just light up your book. And I like to read that. And it also helps me to feel even more tired because the room is even darker. And sometimes I even just listen to audiobooks to help me wind down for sleep. And I especially like to do this if I wake up in the middle of the night and can't get back to sleep. So if I'm doing that, I plug in my sleep headphones so I don't wake up my husband and these are more comfortable if I end up falling to sleep. And often I set the sleep, sleep timer for about half an hour so it doesn't just keep on playing my whole audiobook and I can't remember where I'm up to. And there is one last thing that I do as part of my nighttime routine and that is something that happens when I'm actually asleep. Number seven, lazy reprogramming. So you know that getting a good night's sleep is really important for your energy levels. So we know that we have to sleep every night anyway. So why not use this time while we're actually sleeping to help us achieve our goals? And a study from the Decoding Sleep Interfaculty Research Corporation at the University of Bern, Switzerland has proven that the brain is actually able to learn new things while it sleeps, which is really fascinating. The sleeping brain can actually learn new information and store it for the long term. The sleeping brain is also able to make new associations. Even though the conscious mind turns off while you sleep, your subconscious mind stays awake. And that's how I program my body to wake me up at a certain time without an alarm clock. I literally set my body clock much earlier than my alarm clock so I can wake up naturally. And if your subconscious mind wasn't always awake, you wouldn't actually hear any noises that would wake you up while you were sleeping like your alarm clock. So let's use this to our advantage. So here's a technique that you literally have no excuse not to use. You can't say that you don't have time for this technique because it is a process that you go through while you're actually sleeping. And it's one of the most transformative things that you can possibly do. And I call it my subconscious mind sleep reprogrammer. So here's how I do this. From time to time, I listen to guided meditations or affirmations all night long that will transform my brain for the entire time that I'm asleep. When I used to suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome, I realized that a lot of my health problems were due to my mindset and I wanted to program health and happiness into my brain instead of worry and complaining. And every night for months, I listened to guided meditations and it literally transformed me as a person. When I recovered from chronic fatigue syndrome, I was no longer the same person. I complained a lot less. I hardly worried at all. I was much more grateful for everything in my life, especially as I got my life back and I was able to function again. And I go through phases of doing this. And I must admit, I don't do it all the time, but I often do this for months at a time before I get out of the habit for some reason, usually something to do with not wanting to wear headphones. And you can either just play the guided meditations out loud as long as you don't annoy your sleeping partner. Or you can use sleep headphones, which are much more comfortable headphones that you can wear while you sleep that can also act as an eye mask. Whichever method you choose to use, know that it will be a turning point in your life towards being the person that you want to be, improving your sleep and increasing your energy and motivation. And if you'd like to read more about my experience with guided meditation and find out what meditations I used and loved, you can uh, get the link to that in the blog post. 
One of my biggest secrets to success is to set up regular routines that I call success rituals for performing manifestation techniques that I use to manifest massive business success. And a lot of people ask me how to set up success rituals for business manifestation that aren't overwhelming or too time consuming. And I have created a business manifestation toolkit where I share all of the tools that you need for manifesting business success and they easily slot into your existing routines. This easy to use toolkit includes all of the tools, techniques and routines that I use consistently to manifest success into my business. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifestation toolkit. And there is also a link to that within the blog post. So make sure you don't miss my next podcast episode by subscribing to my podcast manifest business success so you don't miss that. I can also send you an email when my next piece of content has arrived and I give you, give away so many more free gifts to my email subscribers. And you can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts, such as my free Manifestation Milestones board pack. And this pack is the ultimate motivator to help you manifest more business success. And it will help you create a vision board and an achievement board to help you feel good about what you've already achieved and manifest even more. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash milestones. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.